Eight more days until opening ceremonies in Atlanta and the Centennial Games. And as Carol Evans' Carolyn Mungo reports, a Minnesota town has forged a bond with a foreign wrestler. In 1986, 18-year-old Tuomo Carrilla was taking the state by storm, winning the high school state championship in front of 15,000 fans. But it was no surprise to this tiny town of Canby, a place where wrestling roots are strong, a place where Tuomo called home. Well, when you have a foreign exchange student, you kind of have to not treat them like a guest. You know, they have to be part of the family, and Tuomo just really was part of the family. <laughs> He came from Finland but fit in almost immediately, joining the school wrestling team and living with perhaps the biggest wrestling fans in town. It's like um, you're pushing the people alongside you and you're lifting the bleacher in front of you with your feet and you're trying to help them so much and by the time you go home you're just weak, you know. Just <laughs> yeah, he was fun to watch. The Canby newspaper captured his every move during his one-year stay. When he arrived, he had never wrestled in the American style, but Tuomo was lucky. He had good coaches and lived with a good friend and team member, Tony. He was very adaptable. He, uh, you could see the natural instinct that he had for the sport come out right away because it took a very short time and he, was, he looked like he'd been wrestling this way his whole life. Ten years have passed and Tuomo is now in training for the Olympics. He will represent his home country of Finland. But he never cut his ties to Minnesota. In fact, he made a return trip here six months ago just to train with Minnesota wrestlers. Yes, some of them will be competing for the U.S. team. I don't feel that we are having any kind of rival here. Uh, I'm not giving them any secret information because, you know, to, to be a good wrestler, you got to work, you know, you got to work hard years. So many years. In 1986, Tuomo was a Minnesota high school kid with big dreams. This summer, he hopes to realize those dreams in Atlanta. He knows one local town will be watching. But I think it was always kind of in the back of our minds, um, knowing his ability, that this could be a possibility someday of him making the Olympics. Carolyn Mungo, Carol Evan News. Eight days to the opening ceremonies.